Hi, um, today in this module I'm going to explain you how to model from 2D to 3D starting from a simple 2D layout and um, I will be using some QuickSketch specific tools like QuickDraw but I also will explain you how to use some standard uh, direct modeling tools like Extrude and Pushpull. So let's start with the first example. Okay, so um, first example i will be using a tool of quick draw to trace over existing simple 2d floor plan and create a 3d model from it um, so here i have my drawing open um, where i can see i have just a couple of lines um, ready to use so these are just polylines and lines and uh, let's start with this layout um, and go to the home uh, tab and use the command quick draw right here and then you will see this uh, special cursor appears uh, indicating the locations of the walls that you will be creating so if i hover over it and you see that i near the lines it will snap um, into those lines uh, and then i can click on it once and hover over the other side of the room you see it will snap to the existing lines if i click now you see automatically I will be creating four walls and a floor slab. Um, like that I can continue uh, by snapping to a corner right here for example and go out to create an L-shaped room. Um, you see uh, there is a part that's um, red uh, indicating that that part of the wall will be deleted. So if I click now you see that I have created an L-shaped room. Um, in this building okay again let me just zoom in here a little bit and uh, create the inner walls you will see that the um, walls or the cursor will adapt to the thicknesses of these lines so here you see that these lines uh, for the inner walls are a bit thinner than the outer walls so you see a clear distinction in that as well when you're doing this in uh, the quick draw command here again let me just snap to a corner and like this I finish my layout like this. Um, here um, of course these are some default values for slab thicknesses and room heights and so on but you can change this of course in the settings so if I type in S and press enter you will find all the quick draw um, settings that I can set for a default floor to floor distance, default wall width, default slab thicknesses and so on and adapt, automatically adapt the sizes as well. So here you have some choices um, to do that. Um, following along uh, here I can click on the plus sign to copy the entire floor or um, just outer walls or create a flat roof. So let me just add in some more floors uh, so I just uh, click the button four times so I have in total five floors and then I can create the uh, rooftop or flat roof like this I can press enter or um, press escape to finish the quick draw command um, the quick draw command automatically gives all the elements uh, a correct classification so if I hover over this for example you will see this is classified as a wall here it's classified as a roof so this is automatically done um, so that means that after uh, using only quick draw to transform a 2d plan into a 3d building we don't need to classify these elements anymore it's automatically done for you um, of course it's still a good habit to regularly check um, you can do that by using the structure browser um, here for example and you will see that I have a uh, building and then for each building I have uh, a floor and for each floor I have the distinction between wall and uh, slabs so like that you can check if your classifications are all right or not um, so that's it so let me uh, go over uh, so this was with quick draw but we can also create this uh, 3d model by using direct modeling tools so let me go over to this other drawing 
Okay, so the previous section consisted of a rectangular layout aligned with the current UCS. Um, the second example right here is not so simple. You see that the outer walls are not aligned with the UCS and I also have inner walls that are not perpendicular and I have a cylindrical wall right here. So in this case, um, quick draw wouldn't work um, as well as the previous uh, example. So in this case, we're going to use a different method, uh, which is direct modeling instead. So let's zoom in a little bit and orbit around to see the lines a little bit better. So you can see like this, these are just regular lines. And I'm just going to um, enable boundary detection. So that will um, detect uh, all the uh, surfaces enclosed within uh, lines for example so if i zoom in here a little bit and hover in between the two lines you will see that i have a green surface um, and that is my boundary between the two lines um, let's go to the quad cursor and you will see that i have an option to extrude this and i can extrude this up words uh, for about 3000 millimeters and press enter so i've created my um, outer walls of uh, this building right here um, let me also go ahead and orbit to see the bottom um, select the face of uh, the bottom right here and instead of extrude use push pull to pull the wall down a little bit uh, by 250 millimeters press enter like this so i have um, a bottom uh, part as well so you can see here now i have created a boundary uh, between the lower edge of uh, the walls and the layout line so if I zoom in here a little bit, you will see that I can also detect the boundary between this line and the edge uh, of my existing wall. If I select this boundary and I also extrude, I can create a slab. So for example, I can create a slab until here, maybe like so. And then here I have a little bit of a difficult uh, part because I have a cylindrical wall here. Um, so I can just zoom in. Let me turn off the boundary right now and zoom in and select the surface here and use connect to nearest. So find it here. Um, in the command line, you can use T connect for that. And what it does is it will connect your surface to the nearest solid so like this i can perfectly create this connection right here where i have a slab that follows along the cylindrical slab right here okay and then lastly i want to uh, split the wall so if i select uh, the walls right here you see this is one solid um, but it's a BIM best practice actually to construct every wall uh, and or every other entity in uh, the model separately so that uh, for every entity you can have like their own separate BIM data such as classification, number, composition, fire rating and so on. So um, let's split these walls into separate entities instead of one big one. Um, so you can do this manually but you can also do this uh, automatically with if you select the solid and then go here to uh, BIM split here so split segments uh, solid segmented solids into separate uh, entities so if I click on that you will see now instead of one big solid I have a couple of other ones so actually I have three um, because here um, with the cylindrical wall right here it just um, uh, take this as one big entity so we can adjust this manually as well so i'm going to do that with slice and here i have to um, choose no sorry multi-slice 
So that's this one right here. And then I have to select a surface where I want to have um, the wall perpendicular to this part. So if I select this, I can slice until here. So like this, I now have sliced this wall and this wall uh, into separate entities. So let's do that for the other side as well. And just slice this part right here. So now I have like one part which is the cylindrical wall and then one straight, two straight, three and four. So in total I have five walls instead of one big solid. Yeah. Let's do the inner walls as well. So let me turn on the boundaries again and zoom in a little bit. And if I hover over um, the lines, you will see boundary. And again, I just select extrude to create the inner wall. So in this case, as well as 3000 millimeters uh, for a height. Uh, so we can create this part right here. Again, this is one solid, uh, preferably we want to have two separate wall solids, so you can use BIM splits to create this. Um, and uh, of course, uh, these kind of connections you can um, uh, adjust later on as well. So for example, here, this connection right here, you can select both of the walls and choose uh, L connect to see if you want this connection for example mitered or the other way around or separate um, so that's up to you on how you want to have your wall connections so if i just press enter now i can um, have this separately okay so now i think uh, this is mostly done so i can just select everything and copy my floor to the next level so copy or I can use the quad of course and then just choose the second um, base point um, I can also type in R for repeat to repeat the same uh, distance and copy the same floor so like this I can do this fairly quickly uh, so let's say uh, until somewhere here maybe um, you see that all my floors are copied uh, up. Let me just copy the last floor only with the outer walls, without the inner walls. So I can do this like so, choose a base point and an end point like this. Lastly, for the roof, so this would be my roof. Um, let me just lower these outer walls a little bit so if i select one of the solid faces and i go to uh, select aligned faces then i can so you can select the top part uh, surface and have everything aligned so select aligned surfaces so now uh, you see all the top um, surfaces of my outer walls are selected and in this case i can use push pull to drag it up or down in this case down by 2500 to have like a, a rooftop edge um, so like this i have my um, basic envelope of my building lastly before um, with quick draw everything was automatically classified uh, with uh, wall classifications roof uh, slabs and so on but here because we use direct modeling tools it's uh, not that intelligent so if you check uh, for example this wall right here is just a 3d solid it doesn't have any specific um, wall uh, properties for example so you see uh, nothing is classified in this case um, so we can add some more intelligence to it for that i'm going to use bimify and as you can see here um, so i can uh, turn off maybe in this case spaces and sections so you can just see that it's what automatically classify all my solids and my blocks in um, my drawing um, if i have some profiles it will also detect the profiles and create some spatial locations as well uh, but let's see for uh, general like the classification how it works if i just apply it 
you will see that now if I hover over an entity, now it's classified as wall, classified as slab, and so on. So like this, I can have um, some more information in my building. So you can see here also nicely um, sorted within each and every floor. And then for a floor, you have a slab and eight walls, for example. So now this is nicely cleaned up and classified for me. Um, so that was it. Um, so I showed you um, how to model um, from a 2D layout uh, and, and model a 3D model. Um, one time with quick draw and then one time with direct modeling tools. Um, of course, you can also combine the two methods and do a hybrid um, example. Um, but uh, that was it. And uh, I see you in the next one.